Oh, what is up ladies and gentlemen, many hero, welcome back to the channel. A channel which hasn't been so active as of late, the reason being threefold. First of all, I've been grinding it out on the 8B boulder project. Secondly, we've got a lot of things to do in the uh, bouldering gym, a bit of coaching going on and a bit of uh, root setting recently. And thirdly, um, I'm in, in the middle of my preparations for the last segment of my instructor course, which is going to happen, which is going to take place next week. So these are the reasons and this is basically why I just wanted to make a quick update video here for this Saturday, probably the only video that I'm gonna put out this week to let you guys know what's the deal and what I'm all about, what the near future of the channel is going to look like. So first of all, 8B project. Um, I'm pretty sure you remember quite recently I did this 8A plus Jabberwocky Boulder project, my first outdoor 8A plus. And to this boulder there is actually a pretty nice sit start which in, links a couple of moves of 8A into this 8A plus basically which makes it into 8B. And that's what I've been projecting over the couple of the last, last couple of weeks, actually a couple of days. And actually the, the first session that I had after the Jabberwocky sand was already, and there I ha already had an attempt where I got to the last move, which is not even that hard anymore. It's, a, it's about eight, uh, 6B or something, 6B boulder last move. And I bailed out there so, <laughs> I don't know, hilariously actually. I didn't really believe anymore that I could do it. I was so pumped already. It was very late in the day already and I already had a lot of attempts in, but you know, as it always goes with my bouldering days outdoors, I don't get really, I mean, I get weaker throughout the day, but at the same time, I also get lighter. And in my opinion, that's what counts much more when it comes to, uh, to climbing. When you're lighter, you get a lot stronger and, the, you know, these kind of variables, the, the, the body weight matters more than your freshness, actually. So here I got another very good go at the end of the day and bailed out of the last move. I was so... Oh man, it could have been over there, but in fact, I didn't get to this uh, situation anymore in the next three sessions or something. Either the conditions were not perfect, you know, it's getting hotter and hotter every week here in Austria, and at the same time, this damn forest around Merkenstein is turning into a jungle, you know, it's getting greener and greener, which is only obvious because it's getting summer, and it's also getting more humid and more moist, you know, it's, the sun is not coming through anymore, it's getting kind of shady, the, the earth doesn't really dry out anymore, so everything is kind of moist and, you know, this jungly fever and it's really hard when it's warm and humid to send this stuff on the, on the small sharp edges. So actually, while we are sitting here and making this video, there is a last, the last um, week, so to say, of cold period here in Austria, which is called the Eisheiligen in German, the, the Eisheiligen in, in Austrian, you know. And this is a very, very well-known period before it's getting really warm, before the summer hits really hard. You know, there is a last um, period of cold climate, so to say, always here in Austria and probably as elsewhere in Central Europe as well. But uh, this is almost now coming to an end and this puts a little bit of a time pressure for me to send this stuff because I have to fear that afterwards it's gonna be so hot that it's just impossible and then I have to wait for the next autumn. So that's why I have, I'm, I'm very, psyched and very eager actually to, to, to try that stuff because I have the feeling I actually know that I'm strong enough from this one attempt back then but I haven't gotten really the opportunity to pull it off so far so I really want to make use of this last cold period here and uh, yeah, it's almost coming to an end so there's a little bit of a time pressure making things more interesting and that's why I've you know basically sieged this boulder for so many days previously and that's why I didn't make a lot of uh, diverse content. I'm gonna show you at least some of the attempts here as a pre-roll footage to make this video a little bit more interesting at least. But yeah, so much to reason number one. Reason number two, oh no, no, not reason number two, but the second thing that I wanna talk about in this video is actually uploading schedule. Um, up until recently, I was kinda busy doing videos, you know, and I got three videos out per week pretty consistently, which is something that I set myself as a goal, you know. Uh, when it comes to output, I would say for me personally, I made the experience that when I put out three videos a week, that's exactly the sweet spot where I can keep the quality of every single video up to bar. 
but um, yeah, but not getting you know kind of burned out by the workload because as you might know or not know, I'm basically doing a solo thing here. I do the shooting myself, I do the editing myself, I do the uploading and publishing myself, and with three videos a, a week. It's actually quite a lot of work to do that, but when the motivation is high and the work ethic is high and there is not a lot of other stuff surrounding and which is to do um, apart from, you know, just climbing and making videos about it, I can get three videos per week out. And these videos are always, almost always gonna be published on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. <laughs> Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. So yeah, if the, mo if the work ethic is high, if I'm motivated, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. If I'm a little bit of more lazy ass, then I'm gonna make only two videos per week and they are probably gonna be out on Tuesday and Saturday or Wednesday and Saturday. So depending on Tuesday and Saturday or Wednesday and Saturday, when I get the second video finished and if I'm only, if I'm a super lazy ass then I'm gonna do only one video a week um, and it's gonna be on the Saturday. So as you can see, the Saturday is my main day, I would say, where I upload stuff, which is also, which is also gonna be the day where, I, where this video is going live. And I always upload at 12 o'clock midday Central European time. So I don't know what time exactly that is for you Yankee Doodles out there. I know that I've got a lot of uh, American viewers. Um, but uh, Central Europe European time, 12 p.m. so to say, 12 o'clock is my uploading time. So much to my uploading schedule. I'm mentioning this here because I've got a lot of new subscribers recently and I thought I'd throw this out there. Another thing, if you want to be notified about when you don't give a shit basically about my uploading schedule and you just want to be notified when a new video is coming or is ready, um, then you can click this little bell down below beneath, just besides the subscribe button. You know, this was not necessary <laughs> up until recently or I don't know, until a year ago or something. When you were subscribed to a channel on YouTube, you could, you could be damn sure that when there would be a new video from this channel up, you would super, you, were, you would get it very pushed into your feed, you know, and on, on the top of your feed so that you would, could be sure that you see it. Nowadays, this is not so much more the case, unfortunately, in the era of viral, I don't know, bullshit videos, which are getting pushed to the, to the top really hard. Um, you know, it can, could be that you miss something. So if you want to be 100% sure, then, you know, check out this bell down below. It should notify you in some sort of way when a new video is up. So, yeah, so much about the um, uploading schedule and the little uh, reminder. And now we got to talk also about the third reason why I didn't, why I haven't been so active recently. And that is the preparation for the uh, last segment of the instructor course. I actually have my notes here as always. So I don't forget anything. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to briefly talk about this thing because it's going to be also the reason why also the following week is not going to be a super active week of this channel, probably, because already now I'm preparing for this week where I'm going to be there in this other climbing gym and they're going to do a lot of exams and a lot of, you know, um, test uh, coaching sessions and stuff like that. They're going to test us basically if we have learned something throughout this course, which is, which is basically, which basically happened over the course of half a year year now and yeah that's gonna be the last segment as I said and then I'm done and I can only say yeah it's a lot of stuff to learn actually a lot of lessons to learn and I hope I can get it done in time and deliver a nice uh, performance there um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna do for the next week I hope I can get at least at least one video done also for a Saturday of this week and after that Guys, I'm telling you, I'm pumped. I'm so psyched and motivated because then I'm gonna start the final spurt towards 50,000 subscribers. And we're also, we're already getting pretty close here, I have to say. And yeah, that's of course super motivating. I wanna aim a massive thank, thank you guys, thanks, thanks to you guys out there because you are the people who are keeping the channel rolling basically with all your comments and all your likes and subscribes and stuff like that because you know it's motivating to see as a content creator when these numbers grow and you know you don't make a youtube video basically to and hope that nobody sees it you know you want of course that the people watch it and interact with it and drop some opinions and comments and stuff so thanks for doing that guys um, please keep it up it keeps me motivated 
And yeah, uh, sorry for not being so active this week and the next week, but stay tuned. I already got some awesome content planned out for you guys. And yeah, we're gonna use that to sprint towards 50,000 subscribers. Hopefully it's gonna be awesome. Um, I know it's gonna be awesome actually. So now I don't wanna steal even more of your time. I hope you enjoyed at least the attempt clips of my 8B project. Uh, I hope I can get it done soon because otherwise it's going to be too hot and yeah, you know, when you can climb 8B uh, boulder, then you're actually pretty close to climb 9A route, I would say. I don't think that there are a lot of 9A routes um, where the single move difficulty exceeds 8B boulder, so to say. So yeah, that's always, you know, one motivating aspect that I kept in the back of my head since I formulated this 9A goal, this 9A route goal for myself. Well, if I can get a 8B boulder done, then I theoretically, from a max strength point of view, should be able to climb 9A as well, you know? So yeah, second big motivation for me to get this 8B done as quickly as possible, because it gives me a, mo uh, sure it will give me a mental boost, you know, to finally check out a really nice 9A project here in the surrounding areas. But anyway, guys, um, getting off track here already. Stay strong, stay tuned, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.